Hi, it's me, it's Monica, and this is number 44 in my shopping story series video. And this one is actually going to be five parts. So this is about a recent trip to the swap meet that my wife and I made to go look for headbands and skirts. So my wife had a couple items that she was looking for and it was Sunday, well actually Saturday night and I said, so what do you want to do tomorrow? And uh, she said, you know what, let's go to the swap meet, just the regular swap meet and see what we can find. Uh, so we went down there and this particular swap meet, the time we went before, we found some ears and you know, it's a couple of cute things, but I want to say like maybe we bought five or six items and for some reason this time, um, I know it's because I needed headbands and there was a lot of headband stands, um, you know, places that had headbands, bows, you know, kind of those girly accessories. Uh, I just totally, we ended up scoring. I found so much stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm going to show you in five parts uh, all the stuff that I got at that one trip. Uh, and I'm going to start with the clothes. So I need skirts to go with tops that I already have. I'm trying not to buy tops, but then again, I end up finding tops. So this particular swap meet, they have a bunch of different vendors. So there's, you know, a place you'll see and they have a table and they just have the clothes just like piled on them. And I usually just pass those up. Um, it just takes too long to kind of go through there and try to find, you know, particular items. Most of the stuff usually ends up being too small for me anyways. But every once in a while, I'll pass that type of booth and I'll see like a top laying on the top or like something laying on the top of one of the piles. And I'll go ahead and go in and kind of check it and see, um, you know, if it sparks my interest. And that actually did happen one time uh, while we were there and I found, uh, well, it happened more than one time, but I did find one item that way uh, on one of those tables. But the other stands there, the ones that I really, you know, more prefer to go into, it is amazing the work that these girls do, right? So you got a picture, this thing is in a parking lot and they basically rent like one or two or three or four like parking spaces. And they use racks and tents and, you know, clothing racks and hanging racks. And they literally create a little store. And it looks like you're walking into a little store. You know, there's racks with clothes hanging diagonally off the side. There's racks in the middle. And it only takes them a couple hours to set this thing up. It's just absolutely amazing. And I love going into those little shops because it's just so much easier to sort through something on a hanger, like on, you know, a bunch of hangers on a rack. You just kind of thumb through it. It's way easier than trying to sort through a big pile of clothes, you know, with other people, you know, going through the same pile. It's just, you know, and again, the stuff's cheaper that way. It's usually a dollar or two on those pile tables, sometimes three or four. And, you know, the stuff on the racks are, are you know, usually more expensive. Uh, there's one store there that I found two skirts that I absolutely, you know, absolutely loved, but she wanted 10 bucks and I can get skirts at the Goodwill for $6.49 or $6.99 right now. And so I just, you know, I told her, okay, I appreciate it. No, thanks. And I left those two for $10. Uh, and then now I'm going to show you here, I got at much better prices. So these first two items I got at one location and they were $5 each. So look at this. This is just, it's kind of a no name, right? There's no label in it. There's no brand in it. And it's just like a long pleated skirt. It's kind of sheer. And then it has that like solid slip underneath it. Just kind of a longer skirt. I love the pattern. I love the color. I love that it was the black. Um, my wife actually ran across that one first. And she ran across this one first as well in that same booth. Just a beautiful like long, like white, you know, past the knee. It's dual layered, so it's got like that sheer lacing, kind of that tool, and then it's got the solid slip underneath it. Same thing, $5, just absolutely gorgeous. So now this one was from a different stand. This is a Banana Republic skirt. It is a size 14, and you'll notice a little something. It's brand new. This is brand new, a brand new skirt. It's got the sewn on tag. It's got the actual tag inside it still from Banana Republic. And this skirt retailed, had to double check it because I still don't believe it. That skirt retailed for 
99. And somebody had it marked down somewhere for $31.99. I paid $5 for this skirt. Five bucks, brand new Banana Republic, size 14 plus size skirt. I can't even imagine what this must have cost there originally, right? What are you talking, maybe 20, 30, maybe even more than that? So just absolutely scored with that skirt. So like I say all the time, check out the swap meets, go to the swap meets. There's a perfect example of why you should be going to the swap meet to look for clothes. I got a brand new Banana Republic skirt for $5. So this is the item that caught my eye when we walked by one of those $1 tables with just a bunch of stuff laying on top of it. And this was a dollar. And I don't need tops. I have more than enough tops. But I just love these beautiful styled like padded cup bikini tops. It's halter on the top. It's not halter in the back, but it should still work because it's, it's in my bra size, which is a 38C. And I just could not pass it up. It was one dollar, so you can't beat that for a dollar. And now this last item of clothing that I'm going to show you, this is a top. And I got this at the same place where I got the first two skirts that I showed you. And so I'm going to hang these up so that I can kind of show you the top a little bit better. Because this is actually just really, really super cute. I have it hanging on the hanger, but I wanted you to see it. So this is basically a strapless top. See that beautiful white and black pattern there? It's got that peplum bottom and it's got a zipper going all the way down the back and it's actually nice and stretchy. It's got the you know plastic grips on the top there. It's got them on the back too so that it's going to make sure it really stays in place. Just absolutely love this. Um, I actually walked into this booth that I got those first two skirts in this item because I saw a black and white striped skirt, uh, but it was too small. Uh, but that led me to kind of look at the other stuff on the rack there, and I found this top. This is a Guess top. The brand Guess, I can't even imagine what they were charging for this. This is an extra large, so Usually I would not imagine an extra large even in guess wouldn't fit me, but this one actually I can tell it's going to fit. And I paid $5 for that as well. So again, go to the swap meet. Just don't buy clothes at the mall. Go to the swap meet. Go to the Goodwill. Go to those places and look for clothes. They'll have stuff there in your size. The bigger you are, the harder it's going to be to find stuff. That's just how it is. But just look at that beautiful striped guess kind of peplum strapless top that I just got for five bucks. So I hope you're enjoying my shopping stories videos. Like I said, this is number one of five in this particular haul for number 44. So I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. Let's talk shopping. Let's talk fashion. Let's talk finds. Let me know the absolutely cute, wonderful things that you found out there at really amazing prices.